Happy News Day, oil traders. It is still July 26th, and we're just about half an hour, a little more than half an hour away from markets closing at 3.25 p.m. Eastern. And as you guys can see, if I zoom out here, um, we spiked on EIA inventory news. Uh, we got a much bigger uh, draw than was expected. We kind of expected to see about a $2 million, uh, $2 billion, uh, $2 billion barrel draw. We got seven. Um, so big surprise there. So we did spike. If we uh, take a look at the the 15 minute chart here though, you can see that on the news event itself, we got a tremendous amount of volatility. Uh, we initially spiked to the um, very high of the day of 48.85, which we haven't seen since, by the way. Then we dropped spectacularly um, about 15 minutes later to a low of 47.88. And then we spent the rest of the day climbing back up to try to re reach those uh, highs that we saw instantly on, uh, on news. Uh, as you can see, we're fading um, right now, but um, you know, I, even though I remain bearish, and I'm gonna keep saying that, um, this definitely looks bullish to me. Um, the problem is I'm not prepared to bet on it. Um, you know, if I, if I look strictly looking at the chart, I have to say that the bulls definitely seem to be winning this one. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if we see new highs um, tomorrow or at least retest these highs. But uh, I mean, I got in, let me tell you what happened. So if we, if we zoom in on uh, the news event, so you can see that right before news, we were at kind of 4825-ish. Um, and then we got the news spike. So at 48.20, it was attractive, but I kind of wanted to be greedy. Um, we had uh, in overnight trading in uh, Europe, we had seen highs as high as 48.61, um, and we had visited 48.55 a number of times um, in, uh, in the overnight, in Europe and Asia, I should say. So I kind of, I was kind of expecting that if we, regardless of what the news actually was, if we did spike, I kind of thought that we might spike as high as that. So what I did was I put in, and this was a new, uh, a new type of play for me. I'm, this is the first time I've ever done this, but basically I put in my target um, buy order for the short at exactly 48.55 and then just waited. Um, typically I would have canceled that if I had not, gotten my price prior to news and then just waited until after news to, to decide what to do. Um, but, you know, there was a moment there where I felt pretty smart because we spiked. Um, I ultimately got my got my uh, price and got the order executed for the short. And then, of course, we started tanking where it really started to look like I was going to, you know, look brilliant today. Uh, unfortunately, um, I didn't have any sell orders, nor was I really um, interested in selling at just below 40, 48 anyway. Um, but ultimately, of course, we um, climbed uh, quite high today. We're fading now, but um, this doesn't really mean much to me unless we see closer to 48. Uh, this still looks bullish to me. Um, but I, you know, I am quite happy with how this played out today. It was a new type of um, order execution for me. So it was interesting to experience that and uh, you know deal with the emotions that that, that come with the experience. Um, but it, it worked out. Um, I'm happy with how that happened, how it came together. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, I think if we zoom out, this still looks very much bullish um, for tomorrow. Maybe um, wouldn't surprise me at all if we make an attempt for 49. Uh, I'm just not prepared to put money behind that. Um, keep in mind that I still have one more long position. Um, if we take a look at my tradingjournal.ca portfolio here, you can see that I'm still holding that long position here, um, 97, almost 98 days old. Uh, so, you know, I, I welcome the opportunity to get out of that with, you know, hopefully break even, maybe even a profit if this uh, if the bulls manage to hang on. Um, but uh, you know, I am bearish and I expect to see much lower numbers for crude in the weeks and months ahead. Um, 
but that's what I think. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, and yeah, to let me know, just hit me up down below on the comments forum on YouTube or over on my port, uh, portfolio account for tradingjournal.ca. Um, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned every morning and afternoon, and I'll touch base with you guys ahead of markets open tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Eastern here on the East Coast of North America. In the meantime, good luck. Cheers.